Hey Natural Skin Warriors, I am having a chill day today and uh, so I thought I would go through what my eyebrow routine is because although they look fine now and I really wish I'd taken a before picture but I never really thought about it, the transformation not so long ago I had really patchy eyebrows so I'd had a bit of hair missing from this area more so so my eyebrows started quite far, further back we didn't start at the back, it just hair just stopped growing and it's more than this eyebrow more than anything a patch here and I had like a patch in the middle like a, just a gap my eyebrows became patchy when I started using a particular product now I know a lot of people don't think about the products they put on their skin or on their face particularly makeup but just like your food you should definitely look at the ingredients because if you have any kind of problems with your skin or with your hair growth or anything like that check your products so what I want you to do is when I go through what I'm using, you can check this product for yourself so you can see there's no nasties in it. So I got rid of the patchiness by doing this one thing. So I used this product here called Tropic Super Greens. Let's see if I can get a good picture. And this is a nutrient boost oil. So just like your body, you need to feed your skin and your hair. And with the products we often use, we're doing the opposite, which is causing the issues a lot of the time. So this has vitamin C in it. It's got broccoli, it's got chlorophyll, kale, tamanu oil. It's got maca root extracts. It's just an amazing serum. Now, you use this on your face, but this is what I do with my eyebrows. And you don't pay too much close attention to them because we really, I really need to get them done. But as we're in lockdown, that's not possible at the minute. Um, every time I used to go to my therapist, she'd say to me, do you pluck from here? And I was like, who plucks from the middle of the eyebrows? No, but it was because I was using this new product when I started losing the hair from my eyebrows. Now it's come back, mostly. I've still got a tiny bit here and a tiny bit there, which, which now, even without any makeup on, you can't really tell. Before, I could never not wear makeup on my eyebrows because they were so patchy. So I'm going to use one drop. You only need one drop because this stuff, is so so powerful and so good for you and all i did was i put a dr part of this drop i put into my eyebrows like this i put it all over my face anyway but i definitely make sure i put it concentrated straight onto my eyebrows and it spreads a long way so i do this in the morning and at night before bed and i just leave it to soak in and then I stopped using the product that pretty sure was causing me to have patchy eyebrows because it was completely and utterly toxic with no benefit to me at all. And I switched to Brow Boss Pomade. And it's a defining pomade and it looks like this. It's e this is an eco-friendly company, so the packaging, you won't find your usual plastic palettes. Uh, it doesn't look very much, but it goes a really, really long way. So I would just... When I'm applying makeup, just brush my eyebrows out. I don't do anything fancy. I'm not a beauty therapist. I'm not a makeup artist. So I just do anything and what works for me. I brush my eyebrows. So if I'm going out and I want my extra my eyebrow look whatever look that is this is what I put on and if I change it to this product it means I'm not putting anything bad into my skin I'm not putting anything bad into my hair it's not going to cause my eyebrows to go patchy unlike other products and I'm actually feeding my skin my hair and everything all in one go whilst applying makeup noticed is when I was using bad products is I started to lose the length of my tail so hair wasn't growing as long as it normally would now I put makeup on now however I don't need to do what I used to do before which was literally have to fill in the gaps and pull down my tail a bit more um, because I've, I've managed to grow it back and that is by being very consistent by applying super greens day and night both on my face but particularly on my eyebrows and at night when I do it I put a little bit more on just let it soak in through the night and by switching from makeup that was toxic for me to one that is 100% and completely natural and this has castor seed oil, muramuru butter, oils from sunflower seeds, sweet almond oil and vegetables, plant derived, 100% natural, 100% vegan, no toxins. Now if you go to an app, I've talked about it before, called Think Dirty, put this in. Type in Brow Boss 
defining pomade by tropics the app works by listing very clearly in red the ingredients that are toxic for you and you go on there and you put this product in it is green completely green it's not harming your skin which is why i switched to it so my routine for regrowing the patchiness that poor products caused is super greens on twice daily and switching my makeup to a natural vegan eco-friendly one so you can get both of these products I don't know i'll show you my brush you can get both of these products from the link in my bio go to it select the products that you want when you get to checkout put me as your ambassador marty warren so i can process your order and you can come back with any questions later down the line with anything that you like so that's my eyebrow routine i've started to grow my hair back and when i do want a bolder brow i use natural makeup from now on no more patches